coming at you live today on a maybe thought-provoking <laughs> Bible journal page I wanted to create with you, and I'm going to be using watercolor. This is the primary for this. Uh, so I pulled out my very favorite Bible art journal stamps, which are the Joy Claire stamp. They are the Color Faith series. They're so wonderful. So I want to stamp my image, my sentiment first. And I need to do that on a foam pad. Hey, thank you for joining. Going to do some Bible art journaling. I went ahead and prepped my surface gesso. What that does is it allows it preps my surface for my paint and for whatever medium I'm going to use on my Bible art without seeping through the back. And it really does work. Um, I always show you guys what I mean. Like this is a surface that I did. This is a page I did and I did not prep the back and it went straight through. And then let me find another one that I did. This is the one that I did. I did do clear gesso down first and it did not go through. So it's super important to me with this particular Bible that I always just, so it takes a couple hours to set up in my environment, but once it's set up, it is ready to go. So I have this set, Rise and Shine um, is the name of it and it's by Joy Claire. I want to get my sentiment stamp first and then I will go through watercolor it and then I'm going to stamp my rooster last and the verse that this is go going to be off of is um, the this series 22 through 23 and this is in Lamin um, Laminations 3 22 through 23 because the Lord's faithful love we do not perish for his mercies never end they're new every morning great is your faithfulness and obviously I'm not going to do it on this page because I already have something going on over there that I will um, finish up. So I'm just going to do His Mercies are new every morning here and then rise and shine and give God the glory because it's like I love that song down here and then I'll do my rooster up there. But I'm going to be laying down my sentiments first and then I will lay down my watercolor and then I will lay down my rooster after that. The reason is because I don't want to, I want to, this ink that I'm using, it's, I'm using a lot, is waterproof, but I kind of want the rooster to be a little bit more crisp, if that makes any more sense. So I'll do that later. Like I don't want it to be covered in watercolor paint, but the sentiment I'm okay with. So these are my pretty little um, colors. I am pulling this out so much, you guys. I was kind of skeptical when I bought it. I was like, mm, I don't know if I really want that. Um, but I use it like all the time. All of these little distress archivals, they're so great. So I'm just going to tap this up. I did put my foam sheet under because um, it needs, it, since it's not it, it's a since it's a clear stamp there's no um there's no cushion so it needs a cushion if you don't have a foam sheet like this it's so easy you can just go ahead and um buy a kid's foam sheet and it'll totally work so i want to actually i'm going to layer that on i think again with a different color this time so i did red as the base I'm going to do ground espresso on top of that and I'm going to kind of do like a, a shadow image on it so it's not going to be perfectly lined up but this is a great thing to do in case you don't get that perfect image like you wanted is you just do it again but you kind of get it off like you don't try to get it perfectly on there you, like eyeballing it is ideal. All right, so I like how that one looks. And then let me move down here and go ahead and pull out Rise and Shine to Give God the Glory. And I'll do that one down in this corner. 
And again, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to do barnyard first, and then I'll go over it with the espresso ink. And once archival ink is dry, it is it is done. Like it's waterproof. You cannot move it, and it is fantastic for, for water coloring. All right, there's that one. And off to the side, I have my very beat up stamp cleaner squeegee. This is by um, Lawn Fawn. And I'm going to go over this with stamping. So from here, I'm going to get ready to learn. I'm going to be using all of our watercolors. Um, I want to see, they're super cool. They're a little bit different in the sense that the intensity on them is pretty strong, which I really like. And I was watching him do a video with the watercolors and he did this technique where he laid out three drops of the watercolor, went over it with some water next three went over it with some water and so on and so forth so what i thought i would do is i thought that i would lay them all out and then go back and forth and maybe create an ombre effect and how i'm going to do that is i did put my um my mat underneath my paper to kind of keep it flat and i'm going to start with the lightest color on top which is this yellow and then i'll move down to orange and then I'm going to move down to the Merlot. I'm going to use a flat to do this. And I'm just going to kind of go back and forth one end. So we'll see how that three dots there of the yellow. And then I'm going to do the burnt orange and then the Merlot. And I did go ahead and gesso a portion of that side of paper just so that if it bled through, it was totally okay. I kind of hope that it kind of seeps over. All right, so I, might, I wet my paintbrush and I'm just gonna start with it. And as you can see, this gets super wet. It's also why I really like to use um, um, gesso is because it really protects my surface. All right, it's pretty. I'm going to rinse my brush off and some more yellow to this and some more orange but with how the Merlot is. Make sure I get it and see how it's kind of seeping through and that's okay. I'm just going to pull it because I did gesso that side too um, just in case it did seep over which is what I fully expected. And since this water color, it interacts with the water so and it will reactivate itself. So I'm going to go ahead and go back up like I was doing and just get the blend going that way. And then I'll just take the center here and pull this through. And it won't be much on this side, and that's totally okay. I still wanna do something with that. Oh, I like how that looks, it looks really good. All right, and then from here, once I get that kind of pulled out, I'm going to go ahead and just set that up with, I'm going to drain my water off over here and let it refill. Um, I'm going to let that set up, so I'm going to heat it, heat set it. I may have to plug in my heat gun, or let's see if my other one can reach all the way over here. I got two to my different workstations. This might work. But I need to heat set it so that I can put my rooster on.
relatively quick. The next thing I want to do, it won't be completely dry for another, however, it might be a little damp for my rooster. I, I better hit it one more time. But do you notice how I also hit paper? That's very important because it's wet. On that's good. I do want to go over and re-stamp that as well because it did kind of fade on me. I just don't think I got a very good coverage on it. So let me do that one more time and it just could be because the angle it was at. So I'm going to do the espresso on that and then I'm going to um, stamp my rooster with the black suit archival ink first and I'm not going to mat under it. Let's see what happens by not doing that. If I'm rocking, which you should never do, it's a little better. Okay. So rooster and I actually just noticed that there's this really cool sun. So I think I want to put the sun behind the rooster. So I'm going to do that first, and I'm going to do that in a fossilized amber. So let me put this down first. I'm just going to put this kind of at the top of the page. All right, and then from here, I'm going to add my little rooster. Thank you, so cute. Somebody made a really cute card too with this set. I'm like, oh, I never thought to do that. Great idea. Oh, sorry. Just want to clean my block a little. All right, so for my rooster, I do want to do the black suit on this simply because I'm going to be coloring it in with my watercolor ink. Um, but when I color him in, I am not going to dilute it with water straight up, use it. I'm going to um, do a dollop off to the side on my best craft mat ever by it's the Kim Oliver mat. That's what it's called, and it is pretty good. So I'm going to do that first. I just love this rooster. I can't stand it. <laughs> All right. So there he is. And I have space down here because I'm going to put the date. 